Hey everybody, welcome back. We are freezing out here, so let's go inside. We got this shrine to do. We got we got loads of shrines. We got like three shrines to do. And we are actually gonna go into the Rido village, hopefully. Hopefully we'll make it there. I was looking at the map in between episodes and I realized that realistically in that episode we traveled like like two meters. <laughs> like it really wasn't that far. Oh, really? This, I thought this was going to be like a puzzle. What do you mean? All I did was swim. Uh, whatever, I guess. I was kind of expecting a, like a, like a challenge. Some sort of puzzle to do. A miniature dungeon, as it were. But alas, it does not seem to be the way. Spirit orb, hell yeah. Look how many spirit orbs we got. There's so many spirit orbs. Looking good. Shall we go get the master sword soon? How many hearts do you need for that? I don't know. I don't know why I'm asking you. You can't, re you can't respond to me. Um, oh look, oh we're gonna ride the log back. Okay, we're gonna ride the log out of here. Uh, let's pop that one on with that cold resistance. Um, oh shit. No. No. Oh. Hell yeah. <laughs> we need some food. We hurting. Beautiful. A giant piece of meat and two fish. Two freshly cooked fish. Oh. Sounds delicious. What a delicious meal. A bit of surf and turf. Yeah, we're getting out of we're, we're surviving okay. I can't believe that that is the test. The test is just to get in there and it's just to suffer the cold water. We're no longer going towards the uh, edge. Heading towards what appears to be some form of waterfall. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't want to fall off that now, would you? <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> All right. Fucking lone ass tree. No, don't go. Wait. Perfect. Okay. Go. It's taking a little longer than I suspected. Uh, oh, not got even. Not even got a thing. I'm gonna speed up in a minute. If you look at it this way, it doesn't even look like you're moving. We are though. Slowly. Alright. Let's just uh Sorry I chopped you down, tree. I thought you were gonna be quicker than that and it was gonna be really cool, but instead it was not. And it was really slow. Alright. Let's head towards the blue. Um, is that for that region? It is for that region. Oh, it's miles away though. What's that wolf? Where you going, wolf? Don't be circling me, wolf. Gotcha, baby. Ooh. Ooh, there's a thing over there. How does one get over there? This, I suppose. 
Oh no! Oh no! Oh, that's bad. Super bad. Very bad. Super, super bad. Very bad. We're okay. Uh, I don't know what to do with this. I didn't like this area like that. There we go. Look at that kite shield. Oh my god, it looks amazing! Yo, I want that just because it looks freaking rad. Let's get rid of one of these. Kite shield. It's not very strong. That's okay. Look at it! Oh, it's cool! <laughs> I thought it's the wrong way around, I guess, but... Uh, oh. Um, let's eat some more. Do we have anything else? Yeah, we do. We got this one. Look, it's, it's fucking cool looking! I guess it's that way, but that way because of the, uh, because of, like, the danglies. But, like, the top bit being pointed doesn't really make, like, a lot of sense. The top of it is meant to be flat, so you can see over it, right? Isn't that, isn't that why? Is, what shrine is that? Wait, is that the good shrine? Oh, jeez. <laughs> I don't know if that's the red shrine or the blue shrine. Can't see shit in this weather. It needs to stop. At the same time, I'm not sure it's gonna actively stop. Oh crap. It's fine. I just ran out ran out of juice. Nothing to worry about. Alright, so that's the What's up? <laughs> Not trying to cause any problems. <laughs> right, so that... That's the red one. So this one over here must be the blue? I feel like I saw another one. Oh, is that it? Is that the one that I saw? Or is that the blue one? I think this is the blue one. Yeah, it's the blue one. This one must also be the one that we saw. I can't imagine that there was another one in the uh, the short space that we were traveling. There's a little house there. You want to go check out the, the out the little house? We found this kite shield. I secretly thought that we had found like a new parasite, <laughs> paraglider, like a paraglider style. That would be cool. That's a cool idea for the sequel, you know, like paragliding skins. Just like extra things that you can find. That'd be pretty cool. I'd be up for finding a paragliding skin. Just like randomly, just find one. Like, whoa, look at this. It's got like a cool design on it or whatever. Like extra like different tassels and shit that you can hang off it. That'd be cool. Oh jeez, what the fuck is this? Oh I see. It's wind. Wait, oh, God, I don't like the I don't like the, 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 the just the darkness below. It's fucking creepy as hell. Oh oh. Get out of here. You've been defeated. Treasure. 50 bucks. I'll take it. I'd love to have 50 bucks right now. Oh, up we go. Up to the ladder. Because there's a ladder here. How did the 
how, when the Sheik has built this place, how did they know that I was going to have a paraglider? Well, now the fucking what? <laughs> oh, I see. I see, I see, I see. I understand. Go around this way, like this. And swoop on in. Oh! That's okay. Oh yeah, easy, and we found that treasure too. Got 50 bucks out of it, and, and two ancient screws. Let's not forget the loot we got from the guy who died. Spirit orb, baby! Oh yeah, 16 spirit orbs. Holy crap, is that four upgrades? That's four upgrades. That's so many upgrades. Oh my god. It's like a gold and silver worth of gym badges. So many. There's some guys on horses. All right, we're gonna head that way now. Jeez. Excuse me, sir. Could you not be on that horse? Thank you. Oh, that's this guy. Oh, jeez. All right. I I wasn't expecting to fight a whole horde worth of dudes. I just wanted to go by. This thing. It'd be great to ride this thing. Huh. Oh, we can't ride that one. We ride bears, right? It'd be cool to ride one of those. And we also saw a ride appear on like a moose, which would be fucking awesome. It'd be so cool to be like riding a deer into combat. There's a big camera here. That's kind of an issue. It should be fine. Oh my God. It, it's just big guys. Like, <laughs> like it's just big guys. It sucks. We got four. Uh, we got forty-five seconds to get to this. Uh, to this Rio village because we're gonna we we need a place to cook up stuff. If we don't find a place to cook up stuff, then I'm gonna die. Oh, oh, it's getting warmer here actually. Ooh. There's a wind. Oh, there's a thing there. Oh, it's sh fucking sweet. Does that mean there's a shrine there? Hold on, let's head back a little bit. No, I don't see a shrine. I guess it's too close to that shrine. So that shrine doubles. Doubles as a stable. Oh jeez, hold on. Switch can't handle it. Can't handle the things happening. Hello. The thing about me is, I just got to get of spice in my life. Spicy. That's right. Eat that birdie tickle. Eat that curry rice. And now that the alien rice on hand is to make the curry, but I don't go on spice. I can't just often leave the stable. Definitely to get your hands on some. Eh? We have some, don't we? Thank you, Kylie. Hey, dude, I think we have some. Hey, I'll shoot a part with the gold spice, save 50 rupees. Of course. Thank you. Yeah, here's your 50 bucks. 50 fucking bucks. Next time I'll trade you some rice. Add other ingredients to grow on spice and helium rice. Besides the curry dishes. Alright, sweet. Let's fucking try it. Let's make some... 
sweet ass curry here. Right, so what was it? It was Goron Spice. There's the Helium Rice. And we only have one Helium Rice. <laughs> well, we can only make one curry. So let's not fuck it up. Let's make it extra spicy then in that case. Let's make a... Let's put some meat in there, baby. Get some meat. Um, And get some... Get some honey? A honey meat curry? Sounds fucking good to me, dude. Yo, look at that. Let's got some stamina. Some stamina regain. Alright, let's let's cook all these up here while we're here too. Bling. Alright, that's a stamina boy. And so the the yellow stamina it gives us extra stamina, but it will refill our green stamina up to having yellow stamina, correct? So if we do so those are those are good to cook on their own, I think. Uh, like these things. Let's cook these up as well. Get that full recovery plus one. Oh, plus five on that one. That's a big boy. Okay. These ones must be the plus ones. I like how they freeze when, when I'm cooking. They're like, what is he doing? Oh! What mastery! Sweet. Plus three. Very nice. Dug that one in there as well. Um, are these the same? I feel like they are the same, right? The truffles? Yeah, okay, yeah, they are the same. We got eight of them. Oh my lord. I'm not sure we had time for this. Uh, let's <laughs> let's make this the last one. Let's make this the last the last truffle. And we'll just get a a heaty boy. A nice and spicy. Get three of them. Two apples. Get a couple of these, like, cold resistant dishes. Just in case we need them going forward. Um What if we put some meat? And a rock salt with it. Beautiful. It's too much health though, I feel. What if we just put five of these in together? It's a whole pile of heat boys. That's what I'm talking about. 12 minutes! Damn! Get another couple of those going. Oh my. Yellow though, and what? Let's put one of these. A sunshroom. Those hot climates. Heat, it's used to dishes. It will allow you to enjoy the bit of cold. Sweet, let's put one of those in there too. <laughs> Fucking 12 minutes. Holy shit. That shit's so good. Alright, all these mushrooms in. Oh my, so many mushrooms. <laughs> Beautiful. Now we're now we're good on we're good on HP ups, ups yeah. Let's sort these. There we go. We're good on HP ups. We got some stamina ups. Um, and we got some speed ups. We got five breathe elixirs. Got tons of them. Uh, electro elixir. I have to remember that we have that. Um, and we have a bunch of uh, cold up. No, no heat resistance, which we'll need when we go into the desert, but that's far off. We'll have to remember to do them beforehand. Hello. Hey. Good day. You need something? Who are you? I'm Galice of the Rito. Rito? Yes. 
the Rito of Lake Totori, uh, where, where the men are fine archers and the women are better singers. Okay. Uh, you bring a Hillian. You being a Hillian, I'm surprised you haven't heard that before. We should visit the village. You should get the chance. Oh, yeah, that's where I'm going right now. I guess it is a lake, huh? Nice lake. Look at this. Alright. The lake house is just a giant perch. Alright, man, we actually might get in the, uh, get in the bird next episode. I don't want to say we'll get in the bird this episode, because that seems un unrealistic. <laughs> but next episode, might be in that bird, maybe? Oh, fuck. Fucking duck. Look at that. <laughs> New bird call, who this? It's that thing. Oh, look at it, it's so cool. It's like a Power Ranger thing, isn't it? I feel maybe, maybe some better music for the next Zelda. Rather than a guy headbutting a piano. But, I, but what do I know? I'm not a... Well, a music guy, I guess. By a music guy, I mean a musician. I like music. Oh! Oh, it's a shrine! Yes! Give me the final stamina vessel. Oh, give it to me. Yeah, baby. Alright, sweet. Oh, look at that. Oh, well, that feels good to get that last little blip. That give me those heart containers. So many upgrades. Boom. Oh, beautiful. Another heart container. I'm sure, I'm sure at the beginning of the next Breath of the Wild, we're going to get like attacked by a, by a something and it's going to eat all of the, eat all of the orbs out of us, right? So that we're weak again, so we've got like three hearts and no stamina. So that we can build up all our shit again. Um, which is, which is to be expected. I'm sure it'll be like a draining thing, like, like some bee will hit Link and it'll like lift him up and he'll be like, ah. And it like take all his stuff, and then he'll be left without the spirit orb and all that sort of shit. I'm sure that's what will happen. Um, however, next time maybe let me purchase more than one at a time. Just four. Just the four. Hello, excuse me. Hello. What do you have for sale? Armors. Ah. I'll take them all. Oh my god. <laughs> that's, that's a lot of money. <laughs> sure. A thousand bucks, holy shit. I'll take all of them too. Yeah. I feel like that was a good though. That was good. We have 62 bomb arrows now. Like that's... That's pretty good. Oh, here we go. Hey! It'll cost you 600, 600 big ones. Sure. Oh. What about these? Oh. 550 big ones. Uh, sure. Oh. Uh, this to complete the set? I'm not sure how this... 
makes me warmer. But a thousand bucks? Jeez, man. All right. Oh, there we go. Get much warmer, maybe. Maybe we put this on instead. Oh, look at this now. Look at this now. No, we we got. I just I just spent a grand on this. We gotta wear it. <laughs> you're you're just a bird, a bird child. You're also a bird child by a cooking pot. Very dangerous. Don't fall in. Uh, wait, where's the shrine? Is it up higher? Oh, the shrine wasn't this high. Oh, it was this high. It's right here. All right, let's go in. Shrine. Climbing tip. Stamina required for climbing increases in ste with steepness. I didn't know that actually. It's pretty interesting. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> what the fuck have we got here? Okay, so we need to make all of the thingies spin, right? Sure. Let's put a weapon on that we don't mind utilizing and breaking. And this one. Right, you are clearly in the wrong position. Let's, let's make you go all the way around. And then you go that way. And you go that way. Oh, oh well, we're not all spinning at all, are they? There's this one here that's... How the fuck did we get that one to spin? Uh, I won't contend, I guess, but... Oh, we don't need this one to we, Okay, so if we have that one facing this way and spinning that one, have this one facing that way and spinning this one, we don't need this one facing this way, do we? Okay, we can have this one spin this way. We can have this one spin that way. Yes, baby. Alright. Oh, yeah. Alright, we done. Easy. Is that, is that really it? Did I... <laughs> where's my secret... Where's my extra secret treasure? There has to be some form of secret treasure, surely. There's a secret treasure in every single one. There's a door up there. Probably leads to another windy puzzle. Oh, it's not a door at all, it's a window. Is there a door on the other side? Huzzah! Door. Um, then. Solved it. An ancient core. Is that legitimately it? Alright. Oh, well, whatever. Now we leave. We start our spirit orb collection over again. It was bad to spend it all, man. Alright, great. I didn't mean to do that. May the goddess smile upon you, and you, friend. 
Thank you for the orb. And we did 41 shrines. 41 shrines. That's a lot. That's more, that's more than one shrine an episode. Oh, shrines. All right, let's, uh, oh, there's, never mind. Um, this way. Oh, this is, appears to be someone's house and not someone's, uh, not someone's, sh um, shop. There all seem to be homes. Uh, ah, hello. Ooh. A visitor, welcome. Oh, oh, that object on your hip, could it be? Forgive me, where are my manners? I am Keniel, elder of the Ruto village. And now then, is that not a Sheikah slate on your hip? Oh, oh my, so it to be true. That means you must be a champion like Master Ravali. One of the few able to board the divine beast of Va Muda. Mador. No, what am I thinking? The champions have all died in hundred years. This boy must be a descendant, inherited of the Shikslet. Ah, uh, forgive me. The uh, champions champion descendant. If you would listen to this old man's request, you would have eternal gratitude. I'll listen. Thank you, truly. Now then, I know you have s that you have the blood of a champion. There is something I must ask of you. I shall put it put this. Uh, I would like you to deal with the divine beast Va Buda. Udo. Bido? Bido? The great beast circling above us. Only a chosen one, a champion, can stop the divine beast. You must enter the beast and bend it to your will. I tried explaining this, uh, this to more, the more headstrong Rito villagers, but they would not listen to reason. Oh. Tema and Half tried without com comfort. Midor, but it uh, tried to confront Midor comfort, uh, but it did not go well, and Half was. Injured. And Tima escaped unscathed, but I fear now plans to face Midor alone. As a descendant of the champions, perhaps you can help us. Please, find Tema. If you worked together, you'd be able to stop Divine Beast Va Midor. Uh, sure. Sure. Hello. The video game is telling me to talk to you. <laughs> Forgive my intrusion, but I overheard you speaking with the elder. It sounds like you are in you intend to help my husband, Teba, in the flight against Mido. But to tell the truth, there is not much I can do for you right now beyond telling you where my husband went. Where did he go? Well, my husband headed to a place called the Flight Range. It's in it's in Durox Pass, the base of the Henbra Mountains. It's a place where Rito warriors prepare for an, an aerial combat. I imagine it's gone there to gather weapons for another run at Mido. Mido? Mido? Mido. Uh, as it happens. It happens, he made his way to the flight range on foot this time. If you take off from Rivali's landing, uh, it's straight shot down to the flight range. Rivali's landing is a memorial for the Ruto champion Rivali. So named in hope that none might forget the events of that horrible day. What, what am I looking at? The wood? The symbol on the wood? 
the Star Wars Rebels symbol? <laughs> Wait, what am I looking at? That's the same symbol that's on my glider. Surely I've seen it before. Oh, it was just, it's the location. Impressive, I know. Very few can achieve a mastery of the sky. Yet I have made an art of creating an updraft that allows me to soar. It's considered to be quite the masterpiece of aerial techniques, even among Naruto. With proper utilization of my superior skills, I see no reason why we couldn't easily dispense with Ganon. Now then, my ability to explore the firmament is certainly of note. But let's not, pardon me for being so blunt, let's not forget the fact that I am the most skilled archer of all the Rito. Yet despite these truths, it seems that I've been tapped to merely assist you. All because you happen to have that little darkness ceiling sword on your back. I mean, it's just asinine. Yeah, I was thinking that you Unless were something along the lines of an ass you could as well. Prove me wrong. Maybe we should just settle this one on one. Sure. But where? Oh, I know. How about up there? Oh, you must pardon me. I forgot you have no way of making it up to that divine beast on your own. Good luck sealing the darkness. What a fucking asshole. Even when you go into space and you partner up with a fox or an asshole. Descendant! Descendant! Are you alright? My apologies. I fear I've said far too much. If there's anything, anything you don't understand, then please don't hesitate to ask. No, I think I get it. Thanks. So, which direction is he? It's this way. No. Not that way. This way. Oh, it's right next to the thing that we did. Oh, it's, right, it's literally right next to the shrine. Well, let's just warp to the shrine. Let's, let's do it now. Let's go. Luckily, we got that shrine earlier. And we're lovely and toasty warm in our clothing as well. The flight range. Oh. Look at this guy, he's fucking way cooler. Yeah. I don't know you, and I'm actually pretty busy here. You should probably go. Oh, don't be like that. Mm -hmm. Did you need something? I'm busy here. That sounds like him, right? I can help you. Hmm. Help me? With what exactly? Babuda? Let me get this straight. Some random alien wants to help me bring down the divine beast Va Midor. I'm not buying it. What's your name, stranger? I'm Link. Hmm. Link, huh? Well, Link, I'm Teba. But you already knew that. I'm guessing you're the elder asked you to come here and talk some sense into me. Am I right? That's right. Sure. Just like the Elder, to trust any fool wandering into town. Look, you seem like an alright guy, but let's make one thing clear. I'm not going anywhere. As a Ruto warrior, 
I can't rest until my people are safe. There's no, there's only one way I'm going back to the Rito village. And that is, once the divine beast Vamidor falls from the sky. If I have to kill Midor, so be it. Only then will I return to the village. Then let's get started. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> well, far be it from me to talk you off a ledge. But as the owner said, the only way to stop Divine Beast Vamidor is to get inside it. Fat chance of that happening, there's no way you can set foot in the door. Actually. <laughs> so you're not only wingless, you are brainless too. So, let me fill you in. The only people able to enter the Divine Beasts are the five champions of old. And unfortunately for us, the rest of Hyrule, they all died a hundred years ago. It hadn't been for that for Goron, for Ganon. Hmm. Never mind. Let's focus on bringing down Midor. One step at a time. If we approach Midor recklessly, its cannons will blast us out of the sky before we even get close. So I'm going to need to test you before we take take you with me. We Rito warriors use updraft. In this ravine, the hold our aerial archery skills. The updrafts are so strong that, that a person could just open up, open a cloth over there and head to float up easily. Mm. Now, let's see what you're capable of. You'll have, a, you'll have to maneuver through the air and destroy five targets set up in the valley in three minutes. I'm ready. Mm. Then go destroy five targets with your arrows. Sure, dude. How? That's one. That's Tahu? Oh, it's not Tahu at all, actually. I missed. That's Tahu! Keep it up. That's it. Okay, come back. His voice kind of hurts my fur. <laughs> You're a skilled archer. It was... It was as time stopped with every arrow you let fly. I've got to tell you, Link. When you first showed up, I thought someone was pulling a prank on me. Like it was April Fool's Day or something. And after seeing you handle that bow... I can tell you the real deal. You must have seen a battle or two. I've seen a few. <laughs> Don't be modest. I can tell just by looking at you. But you thought I was an asshole before. Link, I feel I've heard that name somewhere before. Well, if you really want to help me bring down Midor, it's now or never. Let's get into position. You can give us cannons all you got. Inside the treasure chest is a bow. Modified. Take it. Let me know when you're ready. Holy shit. I will let you know when I'm ready, dude. I'm fucking, I fucking will let you know. I'll let you fucking know good and proper when I'm ready. I'm almost ready. Need to get rid of a bow. I don't need to get rid of a bow. There's plenty of room for bow. Falcon bow. It's dope looking. Arrows, arrows. Another bow. It's a swallow bow. This bow is a favorite among the Rito warriors. This bowstring is specifically engineered for aerial combat, which allows you to draw faster than a normal bow. Wow, cool. Um, okay, so let's uh, put this on the falcon bow. This falcon bow looks badass as hell. Alright, sweet. I'm going to do some cooking, and then next time, we're going to go into the Divine Beast and take it out. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all then. Bye-bye.